What's up gamers, it's your boy Fat Dollars aka Mr. Teddy Teddy bringing you a new video. Today we gonna go over the top 5 Madden changes and one of the subscribers asked for a lineup update so here it is. This is the offensive side of the ball. Nothing too spectacular, only a 96 overall all the way in May because I refused $200, $300 every other weekend to try to upgrade my players. The game itself is not skill enough for me to have to spend my money upgrade certain players when 95% of the players all play the same and that's why we're gonna go over the top five Madden now. if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button also down in the comment section let me know your thoughts on what would make the game more enjoyable for you so number one is gonna be bailouts flukes we're gonna go over all that and you're gonna see it in the gameplay in a few moments how effective the bailouts is when you don't get the animations when you make all the adjustments set your defense up and the computer overrides whatever you want to do now I'm gonna slow it down for y'all right here you can see I have the yellow jumping back right across the middle of the field now he has pressure coming he releases the ball fast and he they build him out he gonna get a three points right there no penalty for throwing it into double coverage in this game and no penalty for making blind reads so he gets three points when he shouldn't have scored at all now number two is skill gap people coming out in the same formation all these popular offenses like bunch all this type of stuff it's nothing that you see in real life man if you run in bunch and you make an adjustment say you put this guy on a drag this guy on a streak or a fade that's not enough of skill to be for your AI not to pick up on that. You in the same formation. Now when you got Ray Lewis in the middle of the box. I'm just giving you all an example. You got this guy right here. This guy right here. They start to pick up on tendencies. They start picking up on routes. Now you can only control one person at a time. But you make all the right adjustments. It should be easier to stop all the same play cheese that is going on. Now one good thing they could implement it is. You can have a penalty where like NCAA used to be where your routes get wiggly lines you know if you pick up on it like when they used to make the crowd get real loud or something to get people away from the same play or the guys just pick up on it and it's an automatic swat down or knockdown. you should have unique plays like uh, this year people will have 22 to 25 rush attempts and 7 to 8 passes if they was able to if people don't got the glitchiest kind of plays where they can do constant blitzes get all the lucky block sheds you know and that's not how football should be you should be able to get a nice run game going to open up the pass look at that drop pick right there that's a, that's another bailout that's another fluky bailout you should be able to one of the other things they need to make sure that they get rid of is people are dropping three people back in either a zone off the line or a spy I mean come on man you should have all day in the pocket when that happens but it should be no way for the QB to get sacked it should not just be possible you should only be able to put one person in spy at all times and you have to blitz or have them going after the quarterback and that's what they were saying before the game was released was you know D line you wouldn't gonna be able to drop this many people back this many people back and then as soon as everybody bought the game it's like they went in and hurry up and took the sliders off or cheated the system some type of way so it's just real frustrating that the game is not competitive and where it needs to be so number three we're gonna go over real running and player likeness we should see Barry Sanders way that he run the way that he jukes the way he hits holes different than the way Jerome Bettis does the way uh, LaDainian Thomason does the way Ezekiel Elliott does everybody should have their own style own likeness or similar to it I understand it's a football game a video game but similar to it that separates this player from that player just like wide receivers should be the same type of way number four Take away all the NFL blitz, jukes, spin moves, all the arcade bull crap. That's don't belong online at all. If you play in arcade mode or something like that, I can understand. But if you play online, what they call competitive or sim, none of the stuff that keeps your opponent in the game should happen. 
also they should limit the pauses man you should only have two pauses per game if you sit down and you enter into a match you are stuck in that match none of this uh you losing by 14 so you just gonna pause the game you got five pauses you just gonna stall you just gonna pause the game and number five matchmaking some people don't want to spend a dime in mutt ultimate team so they need to make matchmaking better if you only grind your way up to an 83 overall 85 overall in mutt that's exactly who you should be playing 86 85 84 overalls none of this nonsense stuff making people feel like they need to spend more money to upgrade certain players and stuff we can go to part two also let me know exactly how y'all feel don't hold nothing back just let it all off your chest and let me know if y'all getting uh, Mad 19, whether y'all pre-ordering it, if y'all getting the higher editions like the $79, $89 versions. Let me know so I can see in the comment section. Let's go.